Hello everyone, this is your captain speaking, and we are here on a brand new planet that has yet to have a permanent name. It's temporarily called Sisala Atiyavi, and we are going to be working our way over to a crashed ship. Oh my gosh, look at these guys! I'm still so blown away by these guys. These are bat butterfly moth things, and they actually, my guess, due to my, uh, you know, xenobiology expertise, is that they feed on these things. There's a whole bunch of nectar that sort of sits in the base of these and I imagine they feed on those and they feed on these plants over here. And we have been having some really good luck exploring this very, very hot planet so far. I mean, look at this. We're surrounded by herds of slow moving, amazing armadillo things and everybody so far is pretty peaceful, but we did catch sight of these guys last time. So we're gonna climb a little bit closer and the adventures, oh, what's this? This is new too. And the adventures as a xenobiologist continue. So you guys heard the spiel last time. Oh, I have already scanned that thing. I'm really on a roll. You guys heard the spiel last time. Make sure you check out the Wikia and thank you so much to the crew of the Discovery for your immense dedication and for bringing all of the alien life forms that we are running into to life with the Wikia entries. If you guys have not checked that out, you definitely need to because they have taken all of the things we're running into and turned them in to real creatures. It's just, it's just mind blowing. They've got like all sorts of biology, all sorts sorts of like uh, reproductive, like how animals eat, how they live, where they live. Oh my gosh, these are huge. And my responsibility now is to go ahead and find more things for our amazing crew, both for you guys and the crew of the Discovery, to be able to research. He looks kind of cool. Mature ambulatory oxide elements, apparently. And some of them have like bumps on their back. Mature prime gender. And some of them have spikes. So it looks like we have two bumps and three spikes amongst these guys. Man, they're amazing. And there's more of these guys down here. Oh my gosh, have I, s what is this? What is that thing? It's so interesting looking. Oh my gosh, this planet, this planet, what? And there's more of those guys. Let's see if we can get close. I wanna try feeding one. Oh, this is too cool. But yeah, my responsibility is to actually go and explore as many things as possible. And then, oh, 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 are these guys new? They have little things on the top of their head? You're kidding me! You're kidding me! Look at them! What the heck does orthogonal gender mean? Look at them! They have tiny babies! I don't know what to feed first! I really don't! And there's more of those guys! Oh my gosh, what? Look at the size of those guys! They're huge! Okay, but yeah, my job... Check out the wiki, and my job is to actually come down and start exploring and feeding things and discovering places. Can I feed you? There we go. We got in the shade. Can I feed you, little one? Oh, they eat iron! That's so cool! Are you guys pretty happy? Look at it! You guys, look at it! It actually has, like, little, little angler like little lights on the front of their head. I wonder if because they eat iron, they usually are found in caves and they use those little lights. Oh, is this is this letting me know? I think he was letting me know I can use this to be shielded. That's really cool. Sentinel is pretty calm. But yeah, my job as a xenobiologist is to go through and try to discover all of the animal, or I should say all of the alien wildlife that exist on these alien planets. We are registering them with the thanks and help of our, excuse me, with the help, not the thanks, goodness gracious, of our crew on our ship, The Discovery, aka the crew who are filling out our wiki. Look at the size of them. This is amazing. Oh, also, it's telling me, it's telling me there's something the little guy has found for me. I don't want to be rude, so, oh, hi, little one. Let's go ahead. What is this substance? Zinc! <laughs> That's really interesting. To me, that indicates that you guys definitely hang out in caves. So we have this little one. Looks like he has a, a little scratch. Hi. Wow, you're cool. And then we've got those big guys. Let's go try to feed those guys. But yeah, my job as a xenobiologist is to scan and study all of these guys. And then if you guys want to have even more fun, check the wiki out. Like I said, I'm so blown away by the wiki. I have to keep mentioning it. Oh, the ground is shaking. They have got like these really cool hoofs. Oh my goodness. This is so cool. 
And then it'll just bring this entire world, all of the things we look at, to life for you guys in ways that you just can't even imagine. So definitely do that. But I'm going to focus now. Like I said last time, I'm doing a bad job because I'm still so blown away by what's in the wikia. Can I feed you? Oh. Oh, he doesn't even care I'm here. He sounds like a whale. Oh my gosh. You guys. Wow. Wow. But yeah, this is my job. And he's got two tails, huh? Is to just explore and, and collect up what I can. Oh, and I think I need that. I think I need this glowy thing. Let's come see what this glowy thing is. Yeah, I do need titanium for my suit, actually. So I'm going to gather this up. Hopefully it won't scare him. Whoa, that's a lot of titanium. Holy moly, that's a lot of titanium. That should be enough to refresh my suit, no problem. I'm sorry, Sentinel. I have to survive at least. Oh man, what's that? What is that? Oh, that's so cool. Hang on, I've got to scan this thing. Oh my gosh, why well, was shaking? All right. Oh, and there's the there's the ship, the downed ship. So this is a destroyer. This is like an abandoned ship. Let's see. Seventeen slots. Mmm. I would want it. I would want it so bad, but it doesn't have the hyperdrive. Oh wait, there's the hyperdrive. It does have hyperdrive. Oh man, okay, I need to compare it with my current ship. Uh, oh, my current ship has 16 slots. <laughs> Alright, it has a cannon, a uh, photon cannon. It's also got the launch thruster. I also have that. Pulse engine, damage, a coolant. So, phase coolant. Okay. Beam impacts. Okay, it's got some pretty good stuff on it. I will admit that. It has some pretty good stuff. This is critically damaged. We could potentially repair it. So, and then also can we repair this? Potentially. We actually could repair this thing. Hmm. Critically damaged. We could repair it. It does have the hyperdrive. So, I think we might take this ship, actually. Um, it, do it is green, and I do appreciate green things. And it does have a bit more firepower to be able... Yeah, it does have a bit more firepower. So, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and we will go ahead and accept this new ship. This is going to be our new ship. I can't believe I did that. Okay. And now I need to like fix it. Wow. All right. So let's go ahead. We're going to fix up this ship. Uh, let's see. Launch thrusters. I've got plenty of plutonium for that. And then I need to go gather some things. All right. That is now fixed. So pulse engine. I need some sheets. So, all right. Let's go ahead and I need to craft up some sheets. So one... And then I need to go gather up some more iron. And I need to go gather up some more of the blue stuff. So I have unexpectedly, kind of surprisingly, found myself with a new ship. Which I feel sort of bad for my old ship. We'll say that one of the crewmen from the Discovery can come and collect it. And let's come over here. Is this iron? Okay, I'm going to gather up some of this. Not too much of it, because I don't want to destroy the rocks and make the sentinels angry. There we go. And plus the iron is needed. Like, the little ones I don't mind so much. But the iron's needed because those little guys who are digging stuff up for us eat it. It doesn't seem like there's nearly as much flora here as was on Arudovi either. Oh, and here's that thing. I really wanted to scan this thing. Is this even something to scan? Or is it just some sort of amazing formation? Iridium? What? It's an iridium arch. Is that... I guess that's not even something you really scan. You just... Oh, wait. I think the iridium's behind it. Wow, this is cool. Wow. All right. Here's a bit more iron. Just going to collect some of that. Not too much. Like I said, the less... Wow. So... Wow! So this bank thing, look how much iron is in it. What the heck? This is so cool. It's the Wooliite, which I'm sure somebody on the Discovery, aka our... You know, you guys, you guys know what the Discovery is by now. I don't need to keep saying that. You guys know I'm referring to the people who take care of things at the wiki who are in a way my crew. I'm sure someone will come up with like a good name for this thing and then they might come up with some cool facts about it but I'll gather up some more iron from here. Hey there's something there's something glowing over here. Aha we need that thamium. We actually need to gather up all of these things because we need to collect those little berries or I guess that's it's almost like a powder when we grab it. That's what it reminds me about. We need to collect those. Wow look at this. This is so cool. Wow. I mean wow. I mean, just look at all of this. What the heck is inside this? 
You're kidding! It's almost like it's a little nectar deposit, isn't it? Wow! It's like a little nectar deposit where those bat things, which are which are missing right now, could come along. I'm trying to... Oh, I wish I could get rid of the... No, I want to hide it. I want to hide the, the images. Oh, well. But it's almost like the little bat things could come over. And maybe they, they kind of eat a little bit of the iron the way that those other creatures do. Because apparently we're getting iron from this, but it looks like a nectar reserve. So maybe that's what some of the creatures eat. And maybe it's full of iron, and that's why some of these guys eat iron. What is this? It's another cave. Okay, let's wiggle down in it just for a second. And then I need to continue fixing my new ship. I'm still- that was kind of an impulsive decision on my part as captain. Oh, there's some more plutonium. I have plenty of plutonium, though. There's that four-leaf clover thing I really like, and these weird little bunchy things I really like that apparently are not important enough to be able to register them. And we only have two creatures left already. I can't believe we've already almost finished exploring this planet for everything we need to do, which is just... Wow, I can't believe that. Which is just scanning all of the large fauna. So we're probably going to say, for the sake of immersive roleplay, that we have been tasked with mostly scanning the large fauna on different planets and making sure that the ecological balance is studied. That's what the crew of the Discovery does, is they discover, or they research it, I discover it, and focus on discovering it. Wow, this is beautiful. And the crew researches it and provides all of the information about how the ecology works. They can do some research on any of the artifacts that we stumble on, like those really weird ruins with that possessed bird thing. That was weird. But they can do the research on that. And really, if you, if you just want to be immersed in sheer creativity, go check out what the crew of the Discovery has been doing over in the wiki. And oh my gosh, I wonder if those bat things come in here to roost I really hope let's do a quick scan this cave system's huge the cave systems are just gorgeous I wonder if you can harvest this don't don't these just look like they're some sort of little egg things that you could harvest oh my gosh it's very beautiful here so far, we haven't run into anything too dangerous either. Unlike when we were on Arudovi, going into a cave there was just asking to be tackled by a widower. <sighs> that wasn't so cool. Alright, let's run this way. And then let's see, plutonium deposits. Can I get out of here somewhere? Wow. How deep do these caves go? I always worry that I could get myself lost in these and not be able to get back out. Which, I mean, I guess that's very, very possible. So, cave exploring... Oh my gosh, you're kidding. Cave exploring on an alien planet is possibly something I didn't... I would want to make sure my comm system is definitely working for. That's for sure. Look at this, though. This is so beautiful. <laughs> There's even little patches down here. I wonder if this is like a nest. My, like, my assumption sometimes when we find these things are that they're not just mineral deposits. They're like, uh, or you know, wow, look, yeah, they've got like something moving inside of it. Is this like some sort of nest or some sort of food reserve or water reserve or liquid reserve of some type for the animals? Because my opinion is that when we come across some of these things, they aren't just minerals. There's, there's something more to a lot of them. There just has to be. Okay, we'll go a little bit further. Oh, what is that? What is that? What are you? That's a weird looking thing. That could probably be said. I mean, I guess if it could talk, it would tell me I was a pretty weird looking thing too. And there's gold scattered around the place. Now that ties in very interestingly with the way that gold was one of the major minerals of the lead goddess of Arudovi. If, if I need to, can I, can I blast my way out of here? No. Okay. Noted. If you go into a cave, you have committed to something pretty intense until you pop out the other end. Please tell me I can pop out the other end. This is, I mean, and nothing's in here yet. <laughs> Arudovi definitely has me very nervous thinking about the fact that there were always those widowers and those crab guys. Maybe I should swap over to my bolt caster. Who are waiting for you in the shadows of deep caves. Alright, if I can't get out here, 
I'm gonna have to. Is that an exit? Oh, it's. I think it's an exit. Oh, thank goodness. All right, we can climb our way out of here. I hope. That was a huge cave. I wonder how. Oh my gosh. I don't think it was an exit. I think I'm still stuck in the cave. <laughs> you know what this reminds me of? When you're lost in a desert and you think you finally found your way back out and you haven't. It was a mirage. That's what it feels like. Alright, let's get out of this cave, you guys. I'm gonna be a lot more careful about exploring caves. You can really get lost down here. Look at that, though. Are those leaves? Oh my gosh! There's like vines growing down here. Yeah, there's plenty of stuff. I'm sure our researchers on the Discovery are gonna have a field day with this. But my responsibility is to try to cover as many planets and as much fauna as possible. Whoa. Whoa. Now that's really scary when all you're able to really do is just sort of stare at that happening and know that your only choice is to really continue moving forward. So I'm going to continue moving. Okay, come on down here. You're going to have to just go nice and slow. But that really did feel like when you're lost in a desert and you see what you think is an oasis and it was actually not. And that sense of, of dread and the fact that you feel completely, utterly lost. What happens if I get lost down here? I went out. I went out. I appear, the captain appears to be developing a very acute sense of claustrophobia or claustrophobia. Floria, what the heck? It's because I was looking at all the floral things. Claustrophoria. Is that what you get when you like stick your head into too many forests? I don't think I could ever really develop that sense of like claustrophobia within a forest. Claustrophobia. Oh my gosh. At least I can crack jokes. That makes that makes this a little bit better, right? Okay, I really want out of this cave. 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 Can you imagine how terrifying this would be? St I mean, it would be terrifying in a, a normal cave, let alone a cave on an alien planet that you're not really quite sh so sure about. And being all alone? <sighs> I'm glad I'm, um, I'm glad I'm not alone. I'm glad I've got you guys. And I really don't think I'm going to be walking into too many caves after this. <sighs> in the cold sweat. I can't believe I'm down here. Can I please get out? Oh my gosh. Alright, this is the last little burst. And if I can't, if I can't get out here, if I can't get out here, I'm going to take some very deep breaths. And then I'll, I'll be back with you guys. I really want to find my way out now. You guys, it was another dead end. And I heard something. Something made a really loud noise back here. Okay, this is why, this is why you shouldn't be, this is why you shouldn't be alone like this in a giant cave. Where your sensors can tell you... Oh man, look at this. This is such a cool looking thing. Where your sensors can tell you that you're closing in on your ship, but you can't manage to get your way out of the ground. That's okay. Okay. Alright. No. Let's not... Let's not... Let's not do that life support system. Okay. We won't panic. Alright. So we've learned an important lesson about space exploration. Don't manage to get yourself this lost. Don't manage to get yourself this separated from the surface. I think cave exploring is going to be a very rare thing that I will do in very limited quantities and never that deep again. <sighs> is that what you call bargaining? When you start making all of these deals with yourself, if you can just hold it together for a few more moments and manage to get yourself <gasps> out, out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm staying out. Oh my gosh, my ship, my precious ship. <gasps> oh my gosh, never again. There's a reason that the geck word for, for, um, I think it was beware or, or something like that. We learned that yesterday and there's a reason we learned that yesterday. And that's because we're never going in a cave like that again, at least not for a very long time. I did not, I did not appreciate that. All right. So let's see what else we need to do. We need to gather up some heridium. We need to gather up more of the thamium, which means going to find those little puffball things. And then we should be able to repair both of those things. And we've got a new slot and improved improved defense systems, at least. It's not the biggest ship, but hey, it's a, it's a pretty nice ship, so we'll stick to it. All right, and we'll go ahead and pop on out. Man, Captain did not enjoy that, you guys. 
I did not enjoy that. So we will we will definitely not be doing that again. Okay, and next time, man, look at those. It almost looks like, like some sort of army or some sort of ancient creatures that just sort of froze in motion as they were climbing across the surface. But next time, we're going to continue our search for the last couple of creatures that exist on this planet. Doesn't seem like anybody is nearby us. And we'll also finish repairing our new ship. So we might take our new ship for a spin because there are some pretty large areas around here. Like that base that we haven't even touched. But note to self, stay away from caves. That wasn't so cool. Look at how cool this guy is though. Man. Can't wait to see what the crew of the Discovery has to say about that. But alright. And I know I've blathered on about that stuff too much. So I won't be... Uh, I, I love you, crew of the Discovery people. But I won't be blathering on about that too much more from now on. And it'll just be sheer exploration. Digging around in the, the loots of... Like, we saw some treasure. I hesitate to say treasure. We saw some jettisoned cargo laying around the other time. That seriously does look like it was just some sort of alien army that froze in place and turned into iron, doesn't it? Freaking cool. And we'll be doing our last little bit of exploring for the last two already. The last two major fauna on this planet next time. So, I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.